Hi everyone, I'm Matt the Friendly Board Gamer and welcome to another playthrough. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of Pioneer Rails. And here we have it all set up. This is a roll and mat game set in the Wild West. We have a deck of poker cards here which we're going to be using to dictate what we're going to be writing on our sheet. We have various different things that we can score. This is our first gold card that we need to try and hit. And on rounds two, three and four we'll be revealing some more gold cards as well. And if we don't accomplish these in the solo, there'll be negative points at the end of the game. We don't actually score the points, we just lose the points. So the first thing I need to do for the solo is cross off the objective scoring here, just to remind me. So this is kind of um, an interesting roll and write. So not only are we going to be using these cards to dictate, for example, the, um, as you can see here, the diamond, the, the ace of diamonds, we'll be drawing from the diamond station, we're drawing three uh, railroad track to try to accomplish, uh, accomplish some goals and score some points but we're also using the suit, uh, the symbol sorry, to uh, make a poker hand at the end of the round. So they kind of got two use, that's kind of comes into play when we are thinking about what cards we are going to be um, selecting. So I'm going to give these a shuffle. The first solo card we have here we have to complete five cattle which means we have to kind of these cattle symbols here, we have to kind of surround these so that you can't draw a path from one cattle to another. So wherever you see these, we need to try and cut these off so they are um, encompassed by railroad tracks. So in the solo game, the first thing you do is you, uh, well, thing you do each round is you draw two cards. These are the cards that we will use for our um, dictating what we're going to draw, and we also discard them as well. So that's the one we're going to discard. So we have an ace of clubs and a ten of hearts. So I need to pick now which one. I'm going to be, um, which station I'm going to draw from. So the clubs is here and the hearts is here. So I think the first thing I am going to do is, I'm going to pick the ten of hearts, so I'm going to write a ten in here, and I'm going to draw three railroad tracks from the heart station. And I'm going to do, let's go, one, two, three. So I'm going to try and start cutting off this, um, this ranch down at the bottom here. So they are going to be discarded and I draw two more and also discard another one. So ace of clubs and the king of hearts. Okay, so the hearts, I could use the hearts again. Clubs up there, what can I do with that one? Uh, one, two, three, I could start trying to cut these off as well. Mm, I can also try and, one, two, three, if I connect these, um, there's these, red and orange towns here, if I connect these up I get another town, I should cross off here and that will give me um, an ability which could be useful. So I think I am going to carry on working on this um, this ranch here. So I might do one, two, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to try and get these towns, these towns are useful, so one, two, three. So I've completed a gold mine here, it's got this one symbol here which means it needs to be surrounded by one railroad track, it's actually surrounded by two. So I can circle a gold which will be some points at the end of the game. And I'm also using the king. Okay, so on to the next turn. Let's discard them ones and we will draw two more. And a discard ones here. I'm also trying to think about what poker hands I'm going to make as well. So at the moment I've got a ten and a king which is not very good, but hopefully some cards will get us more. Um, so I've got another heart and a diamond, so what do I want to do here? So I could start trying to work on this cattle, but I think I'm going to use the hearts again to use the jack. I'm going to draw one railroad track here which gives me another town. And then I'm going to draw another two, one, two, which gives me another gold. Here we go. So I will discard them. And I will say, in a solo you have a set point threshold to hit. I'm very bad at this game and haven't hit that point threshold yet. So don't be surprised if um, I don't do very well at the end. But you know, hopefully it gives you an idea of how the game plays and you can see if this is something that you might be interested in. So I've got a diamond and a club, 10 and a jack. Okay, so what are we going to do now?
also as well i should have crossed off a cattle here because this cattle is now completely surrounded there's no way to get back to any other cattle so i will circle that and that gives me some points at the end of the game as well still working towards this goal here um at the end of this round another one will come out so they will start mounting up i think i need a ton of diamonds and i'm going to simply go one two and i'm going to come down here for three so potentially working towards this I'm also cutting off this cattle as well. Okay, so let's discard them. And then two more comes out. A 10. That's good. I like a 10. Because 10 will let me make um, three of a kind. The king, I could do two 10s and two kings, which would be two pairs, which is two points. But three counties worth three points. I think if I can, I'd like to use the club. The 10 of clubs. So I'm going to do one, two, three, draw a 10, cross off another gold mine, because I've circled this one. This cattle, I can still trace a route back to this one, so that's not surrendered just yet. So they will get discarded. Now that's the end of the first round. So I have three of a kind, which down here as you can see is worth three points. I haven't crossed off any of these. Um, I think they're gambling houses, um, which would double my points, so that's just a straight three. And that is the end of the first round. So I will shuffle these up. We'll draw a new goal card and we'll keep on going. And at the end of the game, end of the four rounds, we will score up our points and see how well we've done. So I'm going to just move the rest of these off camera for the moment and reveal a new one. So this one is I need to connect, um, I need to make two bridges across the, the, um, the river from two different stations, and the way you make the bridges is by crossing off your town. So I mentioned them bonus, them bonus abilities from the towns. That's one way you can use them. You can cross the town off, and you've got circled, and you can make a bridge across the river. So, I've got that to think about as well. So, Ten of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds. So, I think I might go for the ace of diamonds because I can do this and this which crosses off one of them. Um, so I will circle this here so my points will be doubled at the end of this round. More importantly also crosses off a cattle as well. That's two of them that I've got. But that was only two um, tracks so I need to make another. And what shall we do? Let's come. There's another cattle here I can try and cut off. Uh, there's a tower up there which could be useful. I'm going to. Let's come up here. So that's my three that I've done. So I'm going to discard these. Draw two more. And discard the one that I'm not going to use. Oh, so both diamonds, okay, so it's just whether I want a jack or a king, and I can look through this to see what's been gone before, so none, no jacks or queens, uh, jacks or kings have already gone, so that doesn't really help me, so I just need to guess, I'll pick one that I want, let's go with a jack, and then diamonds, where am I going to draw on diamonds, let's go down here, um, one, two, Three. Working towards this cattle and also this potential bonus on a future turn, which could be useful. So let's discard them. Let's draw two more. And we will discard one. So I've got a jack and a king again. Okay, so the jack could be useful because at least I've got a pair then. One, two, three. Uh, working towards my town there. And that will also cut off. Yeah, if I come here with the heart, that will cut off this ranch, which will be my third rancher to the five I need. So let's do that. Let's do a jack of hearts. One, two. Oh, do I want to come down and do this as well? Three. Uh, no, let's just go up. There we go. Okie dokie. Maybe I should have come down and done this train track um, symbol here because that would have got me points for my longest route, but hey ho. That's probably why I don't do very well. Right, so we have an Ace of Hearts and a King of Clubs. 
So the hearts could be useful because oh I have also um, completed this cat as well. This one's now closed off. <clears throat> so the cat, uh, the hearts could be useful because I can connect to this town, which would be good because I'll give you some more bonuses, which could help towards this. But then that would make that would make that train track, that uh, train line stop there then. Um, clubs, can I start working towards something here? One, two, three. Could work down here to try and get this and also cut off um, this ranch from this ranch as well. One, two, three. Let's do that. Let's do a king of. Oh no, the ace could be useful though because then I get double two lots of pairs, which would be. Yeah, let's do the ace. Okay. So, one point there. Uh, I need to do two more. Let's come, let's come, which way should we go? Let's come this way. Two, three. Okay. So last card. Oh, a jack. Fantastic, I can get a full house, which was four points, which was eight points. That would be fantastic, but would the diamond be better? The jack, the jack, the jack of clubs. I don't have any clubs at the moment. But you know, I could start working on clubs. That could be could be useful. Let's do the jack. Let's come one, two, three, down here. Okie dokie. So I have three jacks and two aces, that is a full house. Three of a kind and two of a kind, which is four, doubled is eight points. I still haven't completed any of these and another one's going to come out. Two, need to make two tunnels. Okay, these are really racking up now. You can't see them, can you? Let's put this up here. There you go. Two tunnels. I need to really get a shift on. I'm completing some of these. Otherwise, I'm going to be in big trouble with lots of negative points. So, round three, let's give these a shuffle see how we do. Right, so let's draw our two. An ace of clubs, a king of hearts, I will discard a jack of clubs. There we go, just about get everything on. I probably should have zoomed out a little bit, but hopefully you can see everything. So, what do we want? Oh, um, let's just check. One, two, three. Yeah, we've got three of them done. Okay, mm -mm -mm. hearts are clubs. Clubs could be useful because if I do the ace of clubs and draw, uh, let's do one, two, which then cuts off this, which will give me another one of these, and then I can draw. Uh, I've also got the gold mine as well, which is three. Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking if I do two, if I do three down here, or maybe three down here, let's do three down here, because then I can cross off a town to draw a bridge. That's one of my two bridges that I've done here. I could draw a bridge here, I'm pretty sure I can draw a bridge here, even though I've not drawn diamonds. Um, so should I just do that as well? Let's just do that as well. Here we go, draw a bridge there. I've done two bridges from two different stations, that's that one completed. Now I will say this is a prototype, so the rules are still in prototype form as well, so some things may change, but hopefully the core gameplay will stay very similar. Right, that was a good turn. I completed an objective, did some good stuff. I got another one of these done. Um, and I think that's that's everything. So, get rid of these. A ten of hearts and a ten of diamonds. Okie dokie. So, I'm doing a ten, irrespective. So, let's put that there. Um, okay, where should we do? Diamonds are up there. 
let's do I don't need to worry about and oh, no, I could do I still need to do this one okay let's do diamonds and I can do one two so I have got one of these town I've also completed one of these I've doubled my score for this round that was only two oh, I've also done another one of these cut off as well so that's my five cattle which is that one completed yes that was good I like that Okay, I need to do one more line for the diamond. Let's carry on here and complete another town. Gives me some flexibility I need to complete my tunnels. So that's going to work towards that. Um, tunnel need to come here or here or here or there. It's a possibility. So I've got some ideas of where I can go. So Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs. So it's definitely a queen. For my poker hand. The question is which one? So I think I've kind of run out of hearts here, so I think clubs might be useful. One, two, one, two, three. I could okay, one, one, two, three. I'm trying to work it if I can get. Okay, let's come down here and do one, two, three. So I'm thinking maybe next time I can come here, here, with the tunnel, and then try and connect up the station. That is the plan, but obviously we need the cards to be able to do that, so let's see what happens. A jack of clubs and an ace of hearts. None. It's part of my plan. Okay, I can use the jack. Let's do the jack. Do one, two. I will use a town to do a tunnel. And then I will do three. That also cuts off um, this other ranch here as well, which will be some additional points. Pretty sure that's cut off, yeah. Now, 10, jack, queen, ace. I need a king. Let's try and get a king, a jack of hearts. Am I gonna get a king? Yes, fantastic. I need to use that king because then that'd be a ten, jack, queen, king, and an ace, which is a, um, a straight, which is five points double, which is ten points, which would be fantastic. But do I need the diamond? That is the question. I can use a diamond, but before I do, I will cross off a town to draw a tunnel. I completed my two tunnels, this one and this one, so that's this one done. Brilliant. And then I will do one, two, three. So gold mine and another town. Oh, feeling good about that. Doing good. I like this. Still might not get the uh, beat the point threshold, but you know, feeling feeling good. So ten jack queen king ace. That's five points doubled is ten. And we are ready for the last and final round. So as you can see, it's a relatively quick game. You know, we're just under twenty minutes now. Um, already in the final round. Really like this. Nice quick. Fun rolling right with lots of decisions, lots of ways to score points. We haven't even touched on the banks yet. I uh, haven't done any of these sort of um, crossed guns, not done any of the railways, um, but you know, there are plenty of ways to score points. So let's see what the final scoring is. I need to do three of these. Three of these gambling houses, I think they are. I've already done two, so this round I have to get one. Okay, uh, this one's done here. I did another one up here. Yep, yeah, so I need to somehow try and get two, uh, one more of these done this round. So let's see what we can do. A Jack of Hearts and a King of Diamonds. So, where is there another one of these? There's one here, and there's one here. I've done this one, I've done this one. There's one here, and there's one here. I need clubs, oh, I need to discard one as well. Oh, that's, I needed the one I discarded. Hearts and diamonds. Okay. Hearts and diamonds. Let's have a think. One, two, three. I could come up here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Okay, I'm going to do diamonds and I'm going to use another bridge. One, two, three. Use diamonds to draw a bridge, and then I will come across my third. 
I think you still draw three train tracks and then another one for the bridge, but if that's not quite right, then please let me know in the comments. So I have an ace of hearts and an ace of diamonds. Well, got to use the ace. Uh, oh, what did I? I didn't mark down what I used here. What was it? That was only discarded. I used the king of diamonds, didn't I? Yeah. King of diamonds. So, I'm going to use an ace. The diamond looks like it's probably the best one. So let's do one, two, three. So I'm doubling my score which is good because I now have completed this one as well. And I've also completed the bank. So when you go to the bank, you can basically bank some of your gold. Maximum four, so you cross out one, two, three, four. First one you do, it's four times one, it's four points. You still score these points as well, uh, which gives you an extra way of banking some points, literally by banking your gold, which is pretty cool. So, Jack and a Queen. Okay, what has gone here? Let's have a look. A Queen's gone and, okay, so three, two Jacks have gone. So I think I need to use that Jack to potentially get another straight. If I could do that, that would be great. So let's use a Jack of Clubs. Uh, where are we gonna go? One, two, to get another town and Maybe up here for three. Have I already done that one? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, I think I missed. I think I missed this one off because I could have got a route back, so I need to circle that one as well. Super duper. What else have we got? A ten of hearts. Ace of Clubs. Ten could be useful because that's ten Jack, Ace, Queen, uh, King. Just need an Ace on the last round. Could be doable. Could be doable. Let's risk it. Let's go for it. Ten of Hearts. Uh, where are we going to go? One, two, three. That will just get me there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do one, two, three. Now I think I'm going to use my towel to draw one extra, I'm pretty sure I can use a towel to draw one extra track which is there which completes this. One, two, three, that's surrounded by three. So I'm going to get my longest train line and times that by three. Uh, the number of towns I think it hits. Um, She's probably going to be this one because it's going to hit two towns. Maybe a third if I can push it to here. This one, oh, diamonds hits three. One, two, three. So that'll be the best one to go for. Fantastic. So I need a queen. Yes. And a jack of diamonds. So I'm doing diamonds. Ten, jack, queen for my run, or my straight, king, ace. So when I'm going to go with my diamonds, what's going to get me some points? Oh, I could get another. Let's do this. One two, three, for another town. And there you have it. That is the game of Pioneer Rails, done and dusted. All we need to do now is work up our score. So the way, oh, let's score this. That's 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace, which is five points times two is 10. So I work out these, 10, 28, 29, 30, 31 for here. And then points, for gold is worth one, two, three, four, five. Points my bank is worth four. I should have probably banked some more. I didn't do any of these. 18 points from my um, from my cattle. I went heavy on the cattle. The track, three points. Uh, the number of stations times by three on your longest or your um, tracks that have the most. So this is one, two, three, four. That will be 12 points and then one two three four five six seven eight from my towns so that is a grand total of 78 i hit all of my goals so i don't lose any points and to beat the solo game you need to beat a target score of 60 so i have just this is the first time on camera first time i've ever played um this game and won okay 
I am super happy about this and the fact it's been recorded makes me even happier. Just managed to beat the solo for the first time ever and you guys get to watch it and see me do that. So there you have it, that is Pioneer Rails. I'm gonna draw myself a nice happy smiley face because I am very happy with that. Um, a nice fun little rolling right game. It's coming to Game Found on Kickstarter soon, so you know be sure to keep an eye on that. Um, custom poker cards look really cool. Um, the multiplayer game works very similar as well. You don't do the extra discard, but you know you're kind of doing the same thing. You get the idea of the gameplay there. So if this is something that you um, may like, then you know keep an eye out for the uh, for the campaign. I've also done my final thoughts and my default dice review for this as well. So be sure to check that out on the blog. Find the links to show notes in be uh, below for that. I think I've pretty much got all the rules right there. Maybe no, I think I think I've done everything right. But if not, please do let me know if I may miss something. I've done something slightly wrong. Like I said, the rules are in prototype form, so they may change come final version. But hopefully, it gives you a good idea of how the game plays. So there you have it. That is a solo run through of Pioneer Rails done in just under 25 minutes. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment below, all of that good stuff greatly um, helps the, uh, the channel. And also check out my social media links below, that is my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and my blog. As I said, Final Thoughts D4 Dice Review on the blog, check them out, see what I think of it. And I have nothing else left to say, so thank you very much for watching, hope you have a good day, bye bye.